All right, guys, what's up? Today, we're taking a look at the Logitech G923. I also have the gear shifter and the pedals. And uh, my first impression is, you know, very good. I, I am very much enjoying the, G the Logitech G923 steering wheel with the gear shifter and using the pedals and all that. I've been using this with the PlayStation VR2 headset and I've been having a very, very fun and amazing time. So uh, do I recommend the Logitech G923 for Gran Turismo 7? Yes, yes. All right, that's it. The video's done. All right. Uh, I do have a few recommendations for you if you are looking to get, you know, a steering wheel and the pedals and all that stuff. And there's one disclaimer for a long time. I thought the clutch was not working, but it turns out that for each individual car, you have to purchase uh, the fully customizable manual transmission. All right. So in order to get the clutch, the clutch pedal and the gears to work properly, you have to go to the tuning shop. And inside of the tuning shop, you have to go to semi racing. Okay, the other ones don't work. I don't know if the one inside of Club Sports, if the close ratio transmission low or the close, I don't know if those work. Those are not even available for this car. The one in racing does not work. Okay, I repeat, does not work. So do not buy the fully customizable racing transmission. Although I think it would be really good. It does not work as intended. The only one that works is the fully customizable manual transmission. Again, that's inside of semi racing, the fully customizable manual transmission. I have not purchased this for the Supra and I'll just go ahead and might as well purchase it now. It cost me 18,000 credits. Um, it's not too expensive or nothing, but yeah, you know, and now when you're driving, the clutch will do its thing. It will work. So, yeah, we're going to get into a race real quick. I'm going to use a BMW, actually, because it's got more power than this one. And we're we're going to we're going to do a race with the uh, transmission and everything working properly now. All right. And we're just going to do a quick four lap, you know, race. This is my favorite uh, map right here. This is the Tokyo Expressway. And the clutch should be working now. I could not figure it out for the longest. So this is like my third time doing this video, thinking the clutch was broken. Um, <laughs> so let's just get up in there. And now the clutch should work. See, now it's a, now it's a neutral. Now I'm in third gear. See, oh, it's working. All right, let me, uh. See, now I could just hold the clutch instead of putting the car in manual or whatever it be. And man, the immersion. I'm over here fucking full throttling, full throttling my car. I put the game on like the hardest difficulty. I'm one of those guys. Oh my God. Well, I just messed up the paint in my car. Oh. So yeah, the steering wheel, look, 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 I, I, it wants me, oh my god, look, I'm going to let go a little bit, I don't even care what place I'm in, but this is so freaking cool, man, oh my god, look, 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 the steering wheel, let me show you guys some steering wheel madness here. But the steering wheel, like, it wants you to hold on. I'm driving horribly right now. But well, look, look at the steering wheel. It moves. I gotta put it in first. Look at that, look at that. Uh, we're gonna do a real race now. Instead of showing you guys the steering wheel moving around. Oh, we're gonna race for real. Oh my god, I'm already doing horrible. Horrible start. Don't 
Don't push me! Oh man, this is so immersive. Oh, it's a tight squeeze, bro. These roads are like, they don't give me any room. Yeah, boy. We're racing for real now. I need you to move. I'm sorry I bumped into you. Oh, shit, son. I did not put it in, in fourth gear properly, so... I kind of... Oh, my God. Uh, that guy's got the same car as me, or what? This feels really cool. And now I can just hold the clutch. Oh, except I hit the wall there. I gotta look at my GPS more. I'm doing horribly. That BMW is gonna pass this guy, yep. Yo, this feels so cool, bro. Move out the way, sucker! Oh my god, I'm going so fast, I swear I'm just losing traction. Put it in third, fourth. Fifth. We got a decent little turn coming up, I'm going to slow down a little bit. Go back to fourth, actually go into third, and then bam. I love that I can just hold the clutch. Why well, you gotta brake check me? I'm in fourth right now. Third again, fourth. I gotta check my upcoming turns. Third, fourth, fifth. They're braking, they're braking. I should brake too. Oh my god, I swear that's the wall I always hit. Going into third real quick. Fourth. Third. Fourth. Get out the way. Fifth. Look at that Lexus. That Lexus looks nice. Hey, 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 hey. Why you gotta do me like that? Oh my god, I almost wiped out because of the guy behind me. That's the guy in first place. Oh, I'm taking it from you, boy. I'm taking it. Yeah, first place. I right, just gotta keep it. All right, I think I think we're done with the video. I think I have explained just how cool all of this is. And uh, honestly, I just I have a blast every time I do this. This is really good. I could just kind of cruise now. Now the car is in neutral, which is really cool. So yeah, if you're having problems, you have to get that manual, fully customizable manual transmission. I almost lost traction there. And uh, and man, you will be super immersed. All right, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop recording for now. All right, so as you can see, I mean, I'm having a blast with this. This thing fights you enough. I know there are much stronger steering wheels out there, but for my first steering wheel, this thing is, is doing its work. It's putting in its work. It's doing justice. The price is justifiable. I got this whole entire thing, including the sold separately shifter for about 350 bucks. Whereas the steering wheel that I would like is like a thousand dollars and that's only the steering wheel So I'm not going there yet. Maybe one day in the future. I will uh, Now uh, what are some things that you should be? Worried about kind of not really worried about um, Your setup, okay uh, Your desk if you don't have like an actual like gaming desk like maybe you got like a hand-me-down or or something with like drawers in the front you're just not gonna be able to clamp this. You, you need, you need like a, like a, like this is like, it's like that thick, like, like two inches maximum, maybe three inches. 
this thing this thing stays it doesn't budge at all so so you need a relatively not too thick of a table to clamp this to um also like your the, the pedal shifters i have mine all the way up against the wall but if you don't if you don't then as you're as you're braking and clutching and doing everything it slides it slides around so what is the solution for all of this the solution for all of this is to get a cockpit and i'm getting one i'm getting a 700 dollars cockpit i know it sounds crazy stupid getting a 700 dollars cockpit uh, i'm getting the gt omega titan uh i i really wanted the track racer tr8 pro it's like a stronger version of the titan but it's like a thousand dollars so fuck that shit i saved 300 bucks by getting the titan i've watched plenty of other reviews on youtube and and the titan looked like a very good and strong and sturdy not too cheap it's not really flimsy and it'll last me years from what i've seen some people have had theirs for like two or three years on youtube and and they work fine so i'm getting the gt omega titan if you're looking for a cheaper one i will link some down below in the description you could get next level like fold aways for like 250 or or 300 if you get like the the upgraded fold away one and then uh play seat has some decent uh fold away ones the play seat challenge uh theirs does fold away um so yeah, I mean, all the negatives that I feel like, like my gear shifter slides left to right, but I gotta use a lot of pressure to do that. Otherwise when I'm racing, it doesn't really move. It doesn't really move. And then yeah, my, my gear shifter's up against the wall, so it's not moving anymore. And this is gonna be funny, it's gonna be funny. So if you're, if you are using, let me turn on my lights. <laughs> if you are using a gaming chair, like this, like my Deadpool gaming chair, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. You're just, just gonna have a horrible time on, on a chair that has wheels that spins. If your chair has wheels and it's and it spins, look, look at Deadpool fucking doing his ballerina spin. If your chair spins, you're gonna have a horrible time, okay? Because you're gonna be you're gonna be pressing the brakes and then you're gonna slide back. And then you're gonna like scoop back forward. And then you're gonna press the brakes again and you're gonna end up pushing yourself away. And then you're gonna scoot yourself back forward. And, and it turns sideways. So whenever you're, you're turning this, your chair is turning sideways. So normal like gaming chairs with this down here, it just doesn't work. So that's why I'm getting a cockpit. Right now, I'm using the WWE. Chair Smasher 3000. <laughs> I'm using the fucking, I'm using our party chairs because it, it doesn't really move that much. It's got like, kind of like a rubber foot and it doesn't really move that much. And it's closer down to the ground where I need it to be for the steering wheel to look good and kind of match the steering wheel in Gran Turismo. So I'm using, I'm using this shitty chair. It's not the most comfortable. Uh, try racing in that for an hour. And yeah, your back's gonna hurt. Um, so I'm, I'm super excited to be getting the GT Omega Titan cockpit. Um, yeah, man. So that, that's pretty much it for the review. Let me put this phone up here a little bit. Uh, if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe doodle doodle button, okay? Subscribe and hit the likely like button and maybe leave a little comedy comment button, okay? <laughs> leave, a, leave a little something. If you got any questions about this setup, um, uh, let me know. I mean, there, there's not there's not too many things that I see wrong. Uh, the steering wheel is a little small. It's kind of like child sized, and there's like a little bit of like faultiness with like this leather stitching. Uh, but overall, I mean, I'm having a blast. So that's pretty much it for the review. I'm out of here. Peace.